I am Diana Rose, and I bring a unique commentary to your favorite reality TV shows and whatever is popping on social media. If you are not a subscriber, please become one. Hit that notification bell too, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I go by Diana Rose on all platforms, and I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me. What's up, Supreme Team, and welcome to the channel. You guys, make sure y'all hit that like button for me right now, please and thank you. Share the video because that's how others find me here on YouTube. Y'all already know this is my commentary. All opinions are alleged, and this is for entertainment purposes only, but we are about to get into it. We are talking about Miss Nell Fletcher. She has entered the chat, literally, okay? She says she's not a backstabber. She's tired of the chit-chat child. Um, we're also talking little Dirk and Rudy Giuliani. So make sure y'all stick around for those stories too, child's juicy. More updates, more updates. So stick around for everything. But we're going to start it off with Nell Fletcher. If you guys were on my live yesterday, y'all know I did a poll where I asked the question. I did ask the question, should Mel and Nell continue their friendship, right? Because after pictures of Nell Fletcher shaking Ariane's hand had come out, Listen, social media went wild. They were calling her the ops. I knew it. You were a snake. You were never Melody's friend. Um, it was a lot, okay? And I was thinking, hmm, it's interesting. Nell Fletcher is keeping a very low profile right now. She is not crashing out, as the kids say. She, I mean, you know, we've been watching a lot of people come on and have really bad experiences or responses with social media. And I was like, kudos to Nell Fletcher. <laughs> Looks like she got this under control. Well, child, she did come into the chat, literally. Shout out to Empress Radio who caught all of this, but she did come into the chat. Um, I want to apologize if I brought any bad energy your way, Miss Nell Fletcher. But this picture right here, one of the pictures where you see Nell standing beside Martell, and you see Martel's baby mama right there in the picture. And people have a problem with that. They said, why are you there? A real friend would never, okay? A real friend would never put their hand on that girl. After everything that Melody shared with you, cried tears on your shoulder, okay? Well, Nell did speak up for herself. She had some things to say. In the upcoming season, we are going to see Melody address Nell Fletcher um, and basically said that she didn't like some things that Nell said about her on a interview with uh, another YouTube channel. Um, so Melody addresses it and said, yeah, I used to think you cared about me. Now I know you don't. OK. And a lot of the fans. Um, yeah, they were bucking and clucking up in the chat. But uh, it started with this right here. Someone asked the question. Why does anybody care who Nell Fletcher is associated with? She is a full-grown woman who can be in the presence of anyone and carry herself with class. That doesn't mean that she's betraying Mel. Let these people live their lives unapologetically without being criticized or having their lives scrutinized by we the people that only watch them on TV or on social media. Okay. And Nell Fletcher got a hold of that child. This was actually must have been under the picture because she put out a whole new photo set of her and um, Chris Fletcher. So this is on her page that Miss Empress had caught this tea because it says liked by the author and Nell Fletcher is the author. Okay. Anyway, Nell said, amen, child. Thank you. Well said. Hand clap, prayer emoji, the whole nine. She said she tired of this BS. <laughs> okay. Um, she is trying to live. She is not playing no games. At least that's how she put it, child. Um, it went on. It continued. Let's get that next post up. Uh, someone said, where's the pics with you grinning with, with slow slaw showing all 48 of your teeth? There's only 32 teeth. <laughs> How many teeth does this lady have? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, anywho, she said, uh, showing all 48 of your teeth, child. I don't think Nell Fletcher has that many teeth, but Mel cried to you about her marriage and you are grinning with the enemy. You are grinning with the enemy that talked about her and her kids shaking my damn head. 
Somebody else said, no shade, but I'm disappointed in you really. Thought you were better than that. I'm just saying, okay? Yikes. Well, no, Fletcher didn't shy away from the question. She did go back at her. Uh, yeah, look, it continued up here. It says, talked about me and my kids. Somebody basically said, I would have never talked to someone who was talking about me and my kids. Nell was showing, grinning, just like a Cheshire cat, not being cordial. And Nell said, stop with the fake page shit, exclamation, three times. She said, no side chick here. And it's called being polite and keep it moving. I would never, okay? That's what Nell Fletcher said. I would never, okay? Uh, and she felt away. Um, and I asked y'all, you know, sometimes it is a struggle, baby. Uh, listen, I I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all don't think being friends with two people that split, there's not gonna be collateral damage and a whole bunch of people is gonna fill a raft, please know it to be true. Nell, actually, Melody said it. Melody said when her and Martel broke up, she said it really broke both of their families because she said, both of their families were genuinely like cool with each other. They were friends. They hung out with each other all the time. And because their divorce became so bitter and, you know, it still is, child. Um, she said that it really broke all the family ties and they don't talk to anybody on the other sides. Um, and that includes the friends too. Basically pack, the, pack up with the friends you had or came into this relationship with and keep it punching. OK, um, that is what they're saying. But y'all talk to me in the comments. Let me know if y'all believe Nell Fletcher. Y'all know that she was invited to this inv event. Uh, this was the polo um, annual, seventh annual polo classic and fashion event is what it was called. But Chris and Nell were speakers. They were there to counsel people and talk about marriage and relationships and stuff like that. So they were there to do business. Okay. Um, you know, perhaps telling Ariane to take a flying leap would have, you know, messed up her future future ask. Maybe they wouldn't have asked her back. Maybe she was trying to be cool and professional. I don't know, but you guys can talk to me in the comment section and let me know what you think while we move on to the next subject. All right, you guys. So let's talk about Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City. He also worked um, on Trump's uh, election campaign and then sat as a part of his legal team. When I tell y'all that 2024 handed Rudy, Rudy Giuliani its entire ass to kiss, I mean it. Okay. Uh, he has, he's broke, baby. Imagine working your entire life, getting into your golden years and having to turn over everything you own to satisfy a legal debt. That is exactly what happened to Rudy on Tuesday. He was ordered to turn over his New York apartment and valuables and all of his bank accounts to two former Georgia election workers who he defamed, okay? Let me get their faces up here. They deserve to be seen. These mamas are, uh, they got they, they got their money, okay? This is um, Ruby Freeman and Shay Moss. These two were given a $146 million reward when they took Rudy Giuliani to court for basically saying that they were trying to throw the election. They had cheated Trump of votes. And uh, yeah, it's good to see that the government takes this seriously. The federal government takes this seriously because we all know that people can go to jail for absolutely nothing in this damn country. So go on ahead and make these people pay. But a federal judge in New York has ordered that the former New York mayor, Rudy Giuliani, turn over his luxury Manhattan apartment and many of his valuables to the two Georgia election workers that he defamed in a decision that was released on Tuesday. Judge Lewis Lyman, I'm sure he had a smile on his face when he signed the paperwork, ordered Giuliani, a longtime ally of the former lawyer, a longtime ally and former lawyer, lawyer for uh, former President Donald Trump to transfer personal property, including cash accounts, jewelry, valuables, and a legal claim for unpaid attorney fees and his interest 
in a Madison Avenue co-op apartment to re and it had to happen within seven days. Okay. Time is almost up, boo. He can't even give this to his children, his grandchildren. His legacy is done all because he tied himself to a hot mess. Okay. He did it to himself. Um, he went on. He went on news. He was he was pounding the pay, pavement and literally helped to um, in the attempt to overthrow the government, if you ask me. But it goes on to say that uh, Ruby Freeman and her daughter uh, Shay Moss filed an action to seize Giuliani's assets in August in an effort to begin collecting the 146 million in damages that they were awarded last year after a judge found Giuliani liable um, for having repeatedly defamed them. Giuliani had falsely accused the pair of election fraud in 2020. Y'all remember that, okay? Uh, I'm happy that they had the coin to keep this going and to, and I'm sure somebody helped him out. Uh, it'll come out later, but I'm happy that someone was able to help him out and make sure that justice was served. The judge granted the mother and the daughter the right to use a receiver to sell Giuliani's assets in order to ensure that liquidation of the transferred assets was accomplished quickly. Quickly. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. So this is absolutely genius. You're sitting on some money. You know, people with money is able to do certain things not to pay up. But they are saying, listen, we're going to bring someone in to liquidize, liquidate his um, assets. Um, damn. Among the items that was supposed to be turned over, it was an apartment which was valued at $5.7 million. Uh, and I told you all that watches, expensive watches, watches that was given to him by his grandfather and the French president. Also something, uh, a jersey that was signed by Joe DiMaggio. Um, one, a picture signed by Reggie Jackson, a 1980 Mercedes Benz, previously owned by Lauren Bacall. That's an actress. So yeah, I'm sure he had a lot of collector items. They also made him sign the New York Yankees World Series ring. His son actually said that his father gave him the ring and they said, tough shit, <laughs> it belonged to your father first. So that also goes. And he had to sell a condo in Florida. Well, actually it says that would be determined later. They're going to see how much they can get for everything. So some of this stuff, they may get an undersell on, right? So if the New York apartment that they said is valued at 5.7 million only sells for 300,000, oh well, their job is just to get the reward of 146 million. Imagine that. Um, it was during this period that Giuliani began repeatedly accusing um, excuse me. So basically all of this, hold on. He, uh, they also have $2 million in legal fees that um, he has to pay up. So pretty much everything. I think that this is absolutely amazing. Okay. Y'all get it girls, Ruby and Shay, mama and daughter, get y'all money, get y'all money. Okay. I love this. I love it. Y'all talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Okay. And we're going to move on to the next story. All right, you guys. So we are talking about Little Dirk. If y'all have not heard of him, Little Dirk, he is a rapper child and things have caught up with him pretty quick. Okay. Um, there was a, another rapper by the name of King Von who was uh, unalived in Atlanta. It was a huge deal, huge, huge deal. Um, and it looked like Lil Dirk was seeking revenge on some things and maybe thought he got away with it. I believe this all happened in 2020. Uh, and in 2024, uh, looks like the, the big hand of the law has caught up with him and scooped Lil Dirk right on up. And he was trying to flee the country, okay? Thought he was going to shake the FBI child and the FBI shook him. Um, Y'all see it there. It was an actual unaliving for hire plot. Um, and here we go. As we reported on Thursday, the feds busted five OTF members 
in connection to August 2022, not 2020, 2022 um, passing. Oh, my bad. This was something else. The 2022 passing of Los Angeles in Los Angeles that took the life of Quando Rondo's cousin. All have been charged in a federal indictment for conspiracy to commit unaliving for hire. The feds say that the crime was committed in a retaliation for King Bond's passing in Atlanta four years ago. Okay, I got that wrong. So yeah, it is, he he did pass King Bond in 2020. And then there was another passing in 2022 that had to do with Quando Rondo. Child, these names are a lot. Now they have arrested five OTF members and it may sound like it is, you know, gang related, but it isn't. This isn't considered RICO because there was a payment um, that was exchanged in order to take another person's, you know, life is what they're saying. So right now they actually have someone who has snitched and all they have to do is prove that the payment had, um, you know, exchanged hands basically. We'll get to the next part. So you see that guy's face on the right side. Um, there's a little dirt. And then the guy that actually snitched, he was an OTF member. So Little Dirk Snitch was an OTF member and he was exposed for wearing a wire. And look at this, OTF Jam, alleged, that's his name, OTF Jam, allegedly wore a wire for multiple years. And then he was previously, uh, he previously served a sentence of 12 years. So for years, this man wore a wire in the company of Little Dirk and other OTF members and the whole time given the fizz everything they were asking for. So it'd be your own people. It'd be your own people. Um, and then check this out. Uh, Little Dirk actually tried to flee the United States on a private jet to Italy after his associates were arrested in Chicago early Thursday morning. While he was in Fort Lauderdale, he initially booked two flights, one to Dubai and one to Switzerland, but he didn't board neither. By 6.40 p.m., the FBI learned that he had instead arranged a private jet to Italy, scheduled to depart at 9 p.m., and he was actually arrested on his way to the Miami airport. So, boo, it sounds like you are gone. He is gone, okay? Um, and check that out. I just wanted to say 2024 is catching up with all the crazy, all the plots, all the twists, all the all the turns, all the I'm smarter than you. OK, I'm smarter than you. I'm going to uh, pinky in the brain, take over the world. Child, goodbye. Good night and goodbye. That is what has happened to Lil Dirk and his five OFT associates. Um, y'all talk to me in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Your kids could be listening to some of this music. These people are, um, you know, not tied too tight. But talk to me in the comments. Let me know what you think. And you know, the craziest part about this, there were so many people. Let me put his picture back up. There were so many people who knew that this guy was going to retaliate. And literally was coming to him in tears saying, please don't do it. Don't risk your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you want to get revenge because, of course, these street laws. Um, and he just didn't listen. <clears throat> so it bees like that sometime. But 24, 2024 is the start of all these takedowns. Uh, we've seen it all year. Uh, and we're not even finished with the year. and from what's being promised, if you believe in certain things, uh, we are under a veil where this will continue to happen for many, many years, okay? Things that people thought what they've done in the dark and it would never come to light is going to come to light. And I have been telling y'all this since the beginning of the year. So y'all, it is what it is. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about all these stories, please. And thank you. Make sure you share the video. Uh, I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me. Follow me on all my platforms at Diana Rose, and I'll check you on the next one. Bye-bye.